yesterday. Just to confirm that she likes it as well. So yeah, we're all good to go. And now I'm just gonna glue this bad boy up. No dominoes, biscuits, dowels, nothing. Straight glue. That's all you need. It's a good seam. You're all good to go. Big carpenter's triangle. Right, that is the uh, glue up uh, done. I could always need more clamps, right? I mean, I've got loads, but it's, it's particular clamps. If you're a woodworker, you know what I mean. It's specific clamps. So I'll just use these calls to keep everything nice and straight. I straightened these ages ago and they've stayed straight ever since. And I've got a little bit of tape on there so no glue sticks to it. But that is me done for the day. I'm only in here for a little bit tomorrow morning because I'm looking after Riley the rest of the day. So I'll probably see you guys Wednesday if I've not edited stories for tomorrow from today. Bye. <laughs> Happy Wednesday all. So that all got to clamped and glued up on Monday. I didn't get around to being back in here on yesterday morning because I was just so busy doing other stuff with Riley. But yesterday, this got delivered. It is melamine faced MDF and it's for a project for the right wing side of the table saw, which is coming up and also to be building a new thickness planer extension bed, which I house here at the minute. But I need to get all this cut down to size so I can store it somewhere in this mess because I need to get to the surface plane that's behind it so I can square these bad boys up and get those glued up. Yeah, small shot problems, hey. So poor Jackman. That's right, isn't it? Let's clear this out. Right. So I've just wrestled this onto the workbench. I do actually have a grab bag. If you haven't seen these, they're bloody wicked. They should suction anything and you can easily lift them. But because of limited space in here, even more so when I used it last time, it was just difficult. So I just decided to pick this up. I did try and use this thing. Uh, if you've not seen this again, this is kind of lift big heavy sheets, but you need the space. I don't have the space. So I just lifted it up and then wrestled it into place. But I have been thinking about also using this material to make a new workbench and using that for the top. What do we think? I think that black would look nice. So, any guesses as to where I've managed to hide the black melamine MDF? <laughs> I've hit it round about there. Perfectly out of the way, ready for the project to begin. So now I need to square these up and get them glued up. Get on this wonderful beast. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, it's good. Okay, so all the planing, or jointing, some may call it, <laughs> has all been done, only on one edge though. You don't need to do the other edge just yet until after the glue up. But basically, this is what I've done. I'll show you up the clamp up because I want to show you the edge. But essentially, that was the board initially. You ripped it down the middle and then you've done, oh, so hard to do this one -handed. You then slap it like that and then you get this. And now, you can kind of see, so you see there's a crack here. Obviously, I'm not using this part. These are extra long than what they need to be. But how some parts just kind of mirror each other, basically makes it like blend all into one board. And make it look like one board. Even though it is one board, it's just cut in half and put together like a sandwich, but with no filling inside. <laughs> because if you were to do these with two separate, completely separate boards, it would look like, you'd notice it because the coloring would be different. The medullary rays will be different. So, good little tip. So now I'm gonna get this all glued up in one block. You'll see how I do it. <sighs> Can't talk today and I'm hungry. Damn it, I've just glued the wrong side. I'm gonna have to wipe this up quickly. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm going to do, I'm going to spin this around so this part, even though it's not really got any glue in it, definitely doesn't get stuck to the other piece of wood with this bit. Oh, right, let's clamp this up. Uh, done. <laughs> now I'm going to clean this up. You know what's funny? I always see people do those kind of shots. And when you think about it, like I've just done, you have to come in, set the camera up, press record, then turn the lights back off again, go outside, and then just do the whole thing again. But when you watch it as a viewer, you don't think of those things, do you? Hmm. Last night, that was it. I'd done that. I was gonna do some more sanding on the top panel, but there was a Phoebe fiasco, which is our cat, alongside simultaneously uh, with something that happened with our baby Riley. So that was me done for the day. But I'm back on this. It's early in the morning. I say early, it's 10 a.m. <laughs> and see where the day takes us. We'll <laughs> sons. <laughs> tripod and I'll show you I'll show you how it all looks like it's blended into one board you see so there is a seam there somewhere <laughs> I think that looks pretty cool you can kind of see it slightly but it's because of the colors match and everything and you can really see on this one the mirrored image which is this these colorings there looks really nice in my opinion but yeah so now that is all done. What I did, I rotated these 90 degrees through the thickness planer. Then now I'll bang on square all around. I'm gonna put these to one side just for a second. I'm gonna get this bad boy back out again, sand it up just to 80 grit, get it cut to size. Then I'll be starting on making the template to cut out the shape for this. If you remember rightly from last week, oh, there's a mess, isn't it? This is the template from the dining table, which this is based on. This has the taper. These legs won't have a taper. So it'll be a lot easier, a lot easier. But yeah, let's put this to one side and get cracking on with something else. See, it's a very big chamfer bit, but it cleans so well. Look, I mean, look at end grain. Can you hear me? <laughs> look at the end grain. It's like that's I've not sanded that. You can see I've just not sanded it at all, and it's left a really clean, nice cut. I just got to go slow and steady. How's that been done? But now she's just... <laughs> oh, I need to tidy up. I need to get oh, I've got sawdust in my eye. I need to get a. Uh adapter bit for my shop vac to fit on that because the shop vac currently doesn't fit in the adapter that goes in that router. So 
Any recommendations, let me know. I need to get one because this is just ridiculous, isn't it? Next time you see me, the shop will be tidy. No idea what that transition will turn out like, but happy Friday all. So uh, I'm gonna get this off the bench. Yesterday I said I was gonna do the templates for these, but I got carried away doing this. I wanted to get these nice curves done and the big chamfer out the way. The workshop is tidy as I said it was gonna be. So now I'm gonna crack on and do what I said I was gonna do yesterday and do the templates for these. And hopefully I can get the curves done by the end of today. Damn it! Not long enough for a stop block. 